What are we actually doing in the world? Sometimes I just got to sit back in the chair and question humanity because I really don't get it. Now don't get me wrong. I have my faults. As you can see, my room is a mess. It's, it's filthy. I need to get my shit together. But at least that's my problem. My problem is stuff like this. It's not making an OnlyFans where I have my child do the editing for me. You're doing girl on girl collabs. Yes, because oh, we I'm... are switching this pot up. Okay, <laughs> let's get the blackjack okay. in Let Alabama. My kids are out there. I'm uh, sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, really sorry, wait, but they know. They know who their mom is. Start. Your son was outside saying he edits your OnlyFans photos. Oh yeah, he's like, so yeah, what so do you want me to do with the bikini line here? Yeah, so you don't have to apologize to them. I don't think. No, I love but that. they. But they don't see the girl, the girl shots. But I do go over that with them before I ever put them out. I was like, "Are you okay with this?" Because it's like, Aww. if I were to do it in a movie, because I would do, I would make out with girls in movies all day long before I even make out with are boys. Those? <laughs> names, names of. But really, I think the same. Download way, for the plane. The same way that you tell to have your these conversations with your kids, I think you need to call me. I get that she tried to downplay it, and she made it seem like, well, he doesn't do anything with the girl on girl videos or photos or whatever, whatever it is that she does. So apparently, they're non-nude photos. She doesn't just get her back broken. I, I don't think, at least, or any of this stuff on her OnlyFans. But it, it, it's to me, it's the same thing, right? Like, okay, cool. Your your kid is not looking at naked photos of you and doing the edits on those but he's still looking at sexually suggestive photos of you in bikinis and, and whatever else, G-strings, I, I don't know, maybe doing different positions. And so he's like, well, what do you want me to do about this, this tan line or this? It's your 13-year-old son. Like, you have to have made enough money in your life being on The Sopranos and, and whatever else you were in to just pay somebody to legitimately do the editing. I, like, and your husband, I think, is Shooter, Shooter Jennings when I was Googling who this lady was because I, I do remember her from Sopranos, but I don't know much about her outside of that. And, and so it's like, you guys can just pay for editors. You don't have to put this on a 13-year-old boy to see his mom in sexually suggestive attire to edit it so it can go out to guys that are going to jerk off to you. That is that is so weird to me. I, I just, like, it could, it could be worse. Don't get me wrong. Like, she could be naked. She could be getting her back blown out, and, and he could be editing up these videos, that would be way worse. I, I do understand there are levels to this, but any level is a bad level. We're talking about a child. This is not something that is meant to be a family business, at least not as far as children. If it's a family business with you and your husband, hey, have at it, do what you wanna do. I still disagree with it because it, it, just, it leads to bad things, especially those that get naked and get torn apart in videos because you figure your kid is gonna go to school and at some point, at some age, Kids are going to get a hold of it, especially when you're somebody extremely popular and everybody knows who you are. It's just a click away. It's, it's really not that hard to find. And they're going to be like, yo, is this your mom? Yo, I jerked off to your mom's last night. Like, I just feel like kids are going to say wild shit or they're going to pick on him. Like, we actually did a video not that long ago, which I'll pop up somewhere on the screen. But it was a lady who she was not famous or anything. And she didn't have her kid edit her, her OnlyFans. It was a little bit different. But she would go to drop her kid off at school in what I think was elementary school, maybe middle school. I don't even think it was high school yet, but regardless, any age. And she had the OnlyFans plastered on the back of the car promoting it. And she would just drive up to the school and you like, and I get it. It's like, okay, cool. She wants to promote it, which is odd because now everybody locally knows that you do OnlyFans and it's extra weird for your kids in my opinion, but what you want to do, but you roll up to the school and now the kids, his friends, the people that don't like him, they all know that you do OnlyFans and it's only a couple clicks away grab mom's credit card, next thing you know, we buying it, and we're seeing my friend Jake's mom with her ass cheeks just spread across the internet. I just feel bad for kids, because I'm, I'm just like, I couldn't imagine like myself being in school, and the kid next to me could show me a picture, be like, yo, here's your mom's butt cheeks, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just mind-blowing. I'm saying stuff like butt cheeks, because I don't want to swear, I don't want to get too graphic, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it goes even further, apparently, because not only that, but the kid's are up on the requests that she gets. So That's do you me. make money only on new subscriptions? I think I do better, no, messages and subscriptions. So, so do I they DM, request what they everybody. want? Yes. They, yeah, I'll get customs like Cameo. Got it, got it. What's the craziest request you ever got? <clears throat> when people want like a three minute foot video. To me, that's weird. I'm they want sorry. you like eating pasta with your feet? No, they, it's when they when they give you a time 
for like the video? Oh. oh, so that they I'm get like, your I love how like, so that's what weirds us out. Not so you're going to they see know how feet, much time it's going to take for them yeah. to get off. And me and my oh, son, make, wow, the kids, smart. like, That well, says a lot about Cutter. We Pretty laugh innocent. about that shit. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> you know, it's so weird. Hold on, where is... Don't laugh at your fans. I know. No, I don't. Because I talk Just to the them all. So she talks about how her kids know about the requests that these guys send through and how they laugh about them together, which, first of all, is kind of odd in the sense that you have these people paying you and you're just openly saying that you laugh at them. And I get it. I mean, honestly, a lot of the people that go on there and request weird shit and send you a whole bunch of money, they kind of deserve to be laughed at. No offense to anybody out there that likes to pay for the content. I feel like you could just go to the hub. You could even just Google it. I'm going to listen. I'll put you guys up on something really quick. All right. Because almost 100 percent of the time, anybody who's a very popular OnlyFans model People have already jacked all those photos, videos, and they put them at all all over the internet. Different side. All you got to do is Google it. Just Google their name, OnlyFans leak, and you're probably gonna find everything that you want. You don't gotta pay anything. There's no point in, in paying for it. And so, you know, but it, it's a little bit weird. So I get the laughing at them, but at the same time, it's like they putting the money in your pocket. If you're the one doing it, then I don't think you should laugh at it. But regardless, the kids are aware of the requests. And she claims that the weirdest request was somebody wanting like a three minute video of her feet or people that want feet videos, which I mean, I guess you could say that that is a little bit weird. Fetishes can be odd for some people. I'm not really a foot guy. I can appreciate a pretty foot, but I ain't trying to put it in my mouth or I'm not trying to do all that extra stuff. You know, I'm, I'm good on that. But they, they, like, so the kid is like, oh, so this person wants three minute video of my mom's feet. And so does he edit the video too? What if your kid has a foot fetish? What if, what if he's like, like, I just feel like he's at an age where he's going through puberty. He's learning about sex and different things like that as he's getting older. And he's over here editing sexual content of his mom. And I, again, I get it. She's not naked, not having sex, but it's like you're there with stuff that purposely is going to make your titties look nice, make your ass look nice. You're obviously not just taking pictures where you're covered up and nothing is going on unless you're naked and you're covering your titties like this, because I don't believe she does nude content, but it's like you're, 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 you're doing the stuff and, just, and he's editing pictures of you of the same shit that a kid that age would happily look at online. Like, I mean, now it's a little different because now you, again, kids can just go to the hub and I don't, I don't think that they should. I'm just saying that it's all accessible unless the parent is really on top of the internet use at the house. But it's like, it, it, you can just go on Twitter and you're going to see titties and ass everywhere, right? Back in the day, it was a little bit different and looking at a, a bikini picture was a huge deal. When I was 13, 14 years old, it was like, yo, Sports Illustrated magazines was looking right. Just being honest with you. And so for a kid to be looking at that of his mother, it's just odd. Like maybe he's acting normal now, everything. But like, I feel like this is the kind of shit that happens with kids and, and different things like this that in the moment seems normal. You always oh, sit down and we have a conversation and he's totally comfortable with it and so on and so forth. That's great. You don't know what else is, is people are comfortable with sometimes is they get groomed, they get very comfortable with it. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't affect them later in life. And I'm not saying she's grooming her child, but I'm just, I'm just saying that bad things can look fine to a kid in the moment and they can say, oh, I'm, I'm comfortable, this is no big deal at all. And then years later, notice that it affects them or it changes and alters the way that they look and, and, and perceive things. And you just, you don't really know it in the moment, right? It's, it's no different than like someone going through a traumatizing experience as a kid and it's like you just... They seem normal now, right? But then all of a sudden they're 20 something and they got issues like that shit doesn't always just show itself immediately. So I just feel like this is not right. I just feel like there should be like things in place to stop someone from putting their child in a situation like this. That's just, that's just my opinion. I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know what you think. I just saw this going around on Twitter and I wanted to talk about it. I would have put this up yesterday, but then we had the whole thing with Mr. Beast's Ava. Chris or Ava, Chris Tyson, and that's even gotten crazier because now he's come out and he didn't really apologize, but he did. He's just basically said, hey, I'm sorry if the behavior and shit that I said offended you in any way. Instead of being like, what I did and said was wrong, he's just saying, hey, listen, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm going to separate for a little while. It's Yeah, it's just, it's a, that's a tricky situation, but that video is up as well. Anyways, curious what you guys think. Appreciate you. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.